Silicone elastomers are normally reinforced with silica, small pieces of sand. We wondered whether benefit would arise from having higher aspect ratio materials like fibers as reinforcing agents and materials that would undergo degradation in the environment, such as wool. So we took wool from, yes, this alpaca, cut it into small pieces or left it as long pieces. We decided in order for it to have a good affinity for silicone rubber, that first we needed to get rid of those thioester groups that gives us the thiol. And now when you do thiomycal reactions, you can take the fiber, the protein fiber and graft the silicone onto the surface so that the affinity should be high. Indeed, when you incorporate that into silicone rubber, you see the dog bones over here, we can incorporate the fibers between about 10 and up to 50%. And you can dial in the mechanical strength of those materials against tensile experiments. What was surprising, however, is that you simply take clean wool, no chemistry at all, and we lose a little bit. This is the 20% value in purple. You can see it goes from about 0.27 down to 0.2. We lose a little bit of the strength, but now we don't have to do any chemistry at all. We literally wash the wool, throw it into the silicone rubber. So the affinity is already pretty good to begin. If, however, you don't use the short fibers, but the long fibers, which are now centimeters long, now the strength goes up a lot. This is the 10% material shown up here in red, but it's not a fair comparison. We need to control the y-axis so the same level is found on all three graphs. And you can see we get extremely strong materials. Okay, they look a little bit like an old sweater because we didn't cut these. We just simply put them into a mold and pulled them out. Nevertheless, we think that this shows you can make more sustainable materials using natural reinforcing agents without having to do a lot of chemistry. And I think doing less chemistry in some cases is better for sustainability. This work is described in a green chemistry article. Thank you very much for your interest.